Before we talk about BPDU filter, I wanted to show you this great show command, and it's called show spanning summary. It gives you some great information about your switch in its entirety. It doesn't go down to the VLAN level or the port level until you get to the bottom of the output. But at the top, we've got switches in per VLAN spanning tree mode, so it tells you what mode the switch is running in. We see that we're not the root bridge for any VLANs at this point. And then it lists your features, extended system ID, port fast default, port fast BPDU guard default, port fast BDU filter default, uh, then loop guard default, ether channel misconfig guard, uplink fast, and backbone fast. It tells you which ones are enabled and disabled at this present time. Uh, this, these aren't things you go back and forth on a lot in production networks, but in labs especially, you know, it's getting a little late and you're maybe getting a little goofy and it's like, well, I'm running up really fast, I don't remember. Just run show spanning summary and you'll find out immediately. Your port information is at the bottom as you see. It's going to be listed first on a per VLAN basis. And since at this point we only have VLAN 1, it's going to show how many ports the switch has in blocking, listening, learning, and forwarding modes. And then finally the total of STP active ports at that time. Then at the bottom it's going to tell you how many VLANs you have and then the cumulative total of all of those VLANs and each port type. So very powerful command, really like that one. Now with BPDU filter, we're going a step further than BPDU guard because what we're doing with filtering is stopping all of our BPDUs from leaving or being accepted on a port fast enabled port. And I know I'm hitting you over the head with port fast enabled port in the last video and this one, but there's a good reason for that. So let's take a look at this on the live equipment. And first, if you want to enable it globally, spanning, huh, I don't see a BPDU filter here. What should I do? I should put port fast here. We ran into the same thing on the last video when we were looking at global, globally enabling BPDU guard. So let's look at spanning and then BPDU filter after port fast. And there it is, BPDU filter and BPDU guard. And you'll notice that these descriptions here of filter and guard aren't very helpful. <laughs> it's just saying, well, enable that on this switch. It's like, well, thanks, Einstein. I already knew that part. Uh, if you look at it at the interface level, it's a little more helpful. And then finally, you would just say, okay, I want this to be my default. So the command spanning port fast BPDU filter default enables that filter by default on all port fast enabled ports. Repeat after me, right on. So let's look at the interface level. And here you do have BPDU filter and BPDU guard labeled so uh, or mentioned so let's go BPDU filter and then finally you would just say okay I'm disabling it on this interface or I'm enabling it on this interface that's it you do notice here that iOS help is a lot more helpful than BPDU filter and BPDU guard you know it tells you filter don't send or receive on a guard don't accept them of course you're not going to be able to take equipment into the exam room with you so you got to know that by heart which i know you will so really that sums it up for that particular feature for bpdu filter uh, it's very straightforward to enable disable and what it does so what i want to do right now is talk to you for a moment or two about loop guard and yes we do have another guard now with this now familiar network, we know that blocking just one of the ports is going to be enough to prevent switching loops, and that's the way we want to keep it. We've seen that on the live equipment, we've seen it in walkthroughs. But in the rare case that the, that the link between two and three here goes unidirectional, doesn't go down all the way, but goes unidirectional, you know, we've got a problem. Because if three can send BPDUs to two and not vice versa, then you know it's going to happen. Three waits the duration of the max age timer, begins to transition the port on that link from blocking to forwarding, and then we're going to end up with all six ports hitting forwarding mode, and we know what happens then. You know, that's what STP is designed to avoid. Well, what happens here when you've got loop guard up and running? Loop guard does not allow that port on three to go from blocking to forwarding. What happens here is that the port that stops receiving the BPDUs is going to go from blocking to loop inconsistent as opposed to root inconsistent in an earlier feature. This one also, though, acts a lot like blocking mode. 
because the switching loop is prevented. Once the cable is repaired, the BPDUs begin flowing from two to three again. The port comes back up without you or I, the network admin, having to do a darn thing. Uh, we don't have to reset or reboot anything. If you want to enable this feature globally, you simply run spanning tree loop guard default. And on a per port basis, we have to do that guard thing again. Let's, uh, let's bring the live equipment up here. And if we were on the interface, which we are, so let's go there, uh, you'll notice you don't see anything specific about loop guard. You would just put guard there and then you're running loop. Now we used root earlier and notice there is a none here. So if you want to negate any interface level settings you have as far as loop guard or root guard on a particular interface, all you have to do is uh, set guard mode to none with spanning guard none. There is such a command. It is perfectly legal. That is it for BPDU filter. And we took a look at that one command at the very beginning, the summary command, and also for loop guard. Now, speaking of unidirectional links, the next video is going to deal with UDLD, the detection of a one-way link under certain circumstances, and then what the heck we're going to do about it. So I will see you on the next video, and we'll discuss UDLD.